So we are now recording. So um, welcome. We're on uh, week three of the Lower Brown Mimir. Uh, we have a game which could grace any final if we're talking. If we're talking honestly, um, seat one we have Jenny Ryan her off the telly. Seat two Bob Deco. Seat three Mr. Phil Small. Seat four David Stainer. Current brain of something, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> I think it's just quarantine now. Now just forever. quarantine, just quarantine, just, quarantine. Yeah. just just the Very world, the title. world in quarantine. That's what we needed. Um, so we know the rules: thirty seconds to answer your own question, mm -hmm. three seconds to decide whether you're going to pass or offer me uh, a bonus attempt. If you do want to repeat, please ask as promptly as you can. I won't be able to repeat once the question has uh, been answered by someone else. I will not be able to repeat. Uh, if it does impinge going over 30 seconds. Uh, as always, hands and face in view at all times. That'll be much appreciated. Let's make a start. Best of luck, everybody. We're starting with Jenny. Good luck. Jenny, one of which actors starring roles was as Bruce Pearson, a terminally ill baseball player with Hodgkin's disease in the 1973 film Bang the Drum Slowly. 1973 would also see this actor's first collaboration with Martin Scorsese in the film Mean Streets. De Niro. Robert De Niro is correct. Second question. The primary antagonist of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, who is appointed High Inquisitor by the Ministry of Magic in an attempt to control Hogwarts. She's also appointed Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher, but yet refuses to teach anything practical in that subject. Umbridge. Dolores Umbridge is correct. And your third question. Which US TV show, 1986 to 1990, was a sitcom that featured a friendly extraterrestrial who crash lands in the garage of a middle class family? It starred Max Wright and Anne Sheedeen. Alf? Alf is correct for a three out of three to start with. Well done. Bob, on to you. Which British boxer held the WBA super middleweight title between 2017 and 2018? Earlier in his career, he fought two memorable title bouts against the then champion, Carl Froch. Groves? George Groves is correct. Very good. Uh, second question. Which item of clothing was arguably the star of the 1997 Brit Awards? It's now owned by the Hard Rock Cafe in Las Vegas. Is that Liz Hurley's dress? It's not Liz Hurley's dress, I'm afraid. That goes to Phil. Jerry Halliwell's dress? Jerry Halliwell's yeah, uh, Union Jack dress yeah. is correct. Um, the second one, well, third one for you, Bob. Sent out to over 300,000 people annually, which holiday company publishes the free magazine entitled Village Life? Saga? It's not Saga, I'm afraid. Thanks to Dave Stainer. Us. Jenny? Pass. And Phil? I'll pass. Uh, that is Centre Parks. Oh, it isn't, is it? <sighs> Wants to guess it, but... Wasn't worth a risk. Uh, Phil, you're three. Which Belgian, nicknamed the Cannibal, won the Tour de France five times between 1969 and 1974? Max? Is correct. Your second question. Black opium and Libre, that's L-I-B-R-E, are popular fragrances created by which French fashion house? Dior? It's not Dior, I'm afraid. Goes to David. Us. Jenny. You sound the wrong. Is correct. And Phil, your third one. 
Which group had a UK top 10 hit single in 1983 with a cover of the Beatles song, Dear Prudence? Pass. Goes to David. Susie and the Banshees. Susie and the Banshees is correct. Better than the original. So you say. Moving on to uh, David, your own questions. First name and surname required, please. He was scheduled to fight Floyd Mayweather in February, but this fight has since been postponed. Which popular YouTuber caused controversy during a visit to Japan in 2017 when he filmed a corpse of a man that hung himself from a tree and posted the fo footage online on his YouTube channel? Can you repeat, please? Yeah. He was scheduled to fight Floyd Mayweather in, in February, but this fight has since been postponed, which popular YouTuber caused controversy during a visit to Japan in 2017 <laughs> when he filmed the corpse of a man who'd hung himself and posted the footage on his YouTube channel. Logan Paul is correct. Good. Uh, your second question. Suran Jones and Leslie Sharp were the title characters in which TV police procedural drama series set in Manchester. It also starred Amelia Bulmore as Chief Detective Inspector Jill Murray. Oh, I've got this wrong in QLL before. Um, I have a feeling it's going to happen again. <laughs> Watson and Bailey. It's not Watson and Bailey, no. I'm afraid. Goes to Bob. I just can't remember. Pass. Pass. Jenny. Scott and Bailey. Scott and Bailey is correct. Need to watch uh, more telly. And David, your third question. Which arcade game released in 1980 has the player controlling the title character as he moves through a maze, collecting items and avoiding the four ghosts who pursue him relentlessly? The four what? Ghosts. ghosts. Pac-Man. That is correct. End of round number one. Uh, Jenny moves into the lead with five. Dave with three. Phil with two. Bob with one. Uh, bonus attempts. Bob without any. Jenny with two. Phil with one. Dave with one. Uh, round two. We move back to Jenny. An ending fitting for the start. You twist and tore our love apart. Are the opening two lines of which 2004 hit by the Libertines? Can't stand me now. Can't stand me now is correct. Second question. Which British boxer who won Olympic gold at middleweight in Beijing in 2008 held the IBF super middleweight world title between 2015 and 2017? Adams is incorrect, I'm afraid. Goes to Bob. Is that a pass or yeah? Pass, yeah, sorry. Uh, Phil. DeGale. James DeGale is correct. That's one. And Jenny, your third question. Flower and World Power are popular fragrances developed by which French fashion house originally founded by a Japanese designer? Kenzo. Kenzo is correct. Um, Bob, your second trio. Coming seventh on US Glamour Magazine's Disney Prince Hotness ranking is Prince Philip, the heroic protagonist of which 1959 Disney animated film? Um, God. Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. It's not Snow White, I'm afraid. Goes to David. Pass. Phil. Pass. And Jenny. Pass. Uh, that is Sleeping Beauty. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's slightly uh, earlier, to be honest. Your second one, uh, Bob. Which actor has been a frequent collaborator with both Robert De Niro and Martin Scorsese? He played Joey LaMotta in Raging Bull, the brother of De Niro's character Jake, and in 2019 came out of retirement to play Russell Buffalino in The Irishman. The 
Pacino. Say again, please. Pacino. Pacino's incorrect, I'm afraid. Goes to David. Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci is correct. Oh, it's just talking myself out of the wrong one. This is not... Right. And Bobby, third one. A cover of which Beatles song, recorded by an all-star ensemble, reached number one in the UK charts in 1987. All proceeds went to the charity set-up in the wake of the Zeebrugge ferry disaster. Let it be. Is correct. Uh, Phil, your three. The New Zealand-born country musician Keith Urban is married to which actress? She was previously married to Tom Cruise, whom she'd met on the set of Days of Thunder. Edmund. It's correct. Second question. Logan Paul's first pro boxing bout was against which other popular YouTuber who is known by a three letter name? The man in question built his following by providing gaming commentary on videos from the FIFA series. KSI. KSI is correct. And your third one. First appearing in Harry Potter and the, and the Prisoner of Azkaban as the new defence against the dark arts teacher. Which Hogwarts teacher later resigns in anticipation of the public outcry against a werewolf, which he was, teaching at the school? Lupin. Lupin is correct. Three out of three, out of three well done. Uh, David, on to you. Which US TV show, 1977 to 1987, was a comedy drama set on a cruise ship? It revolved around the ship's captain, played by Gavin McLeod, and the adventures of several passengers and crew. Gosh, crikey. Gilligan's Island. No idea, I don't even know what it is. Gilligan's Island, I'm afraid. Goes to Bob. Us. Jenny. The Love Boat. The Love Boat oh, is no. correct. And your second one, David. Whose final public appearance was when collecting an Outstanding Contribution Brit Award at the 1990 ceremony? He appeared with his bandmates, but sadly died a year later. Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury is correct. And your third question. With a, month, with a monthly circulation of over 620,000, which magazine aimed at the over 50s claims to be Britain's biggest selling monthly magazine? Is that Saga? That is Saga, yeah. Correct. Good stuff. End of round number two. Uh, Jenny's in the lead with eight. Phil and David will have six. Bob's on two. Uh, bonus attempts. It's uh, Jenny with three. Phil and David with two. Bob yet to take one. Round three. We move on to Jenny. Now she's finished her brew. Jenny. Girl Online was the record-breaking debut novel of which YouTuber and vlogger? Her YouTube channel largely contains videos on fashion tips and beauty hauls. Zoella. Zoella or Zoe Zoella Suck. Zoella Suck, yeah. Yeah, it's exactly the, uh, what we needed. Um, your second question. Coming fifth on the US Glamour Magazine's Disney Prince Hotness ranking is Prince Adam. The animalistic protagonist of which 1991 Disney animated film? Beauty and the Beast. It's correct. To be fair, yeah, five. Yeah, fair. And your third one. Which Brit, sometimes nicknamed the White Kenyan, won the Tour de France four times between 2013 and 2017? Thomas. It's not, I'm afraid. 
goes to Bob. Froome. Chris Froome is correct. Talked myself right at that one, didn't I? There you go. Um, Bob, your questions. Caroline Quentin starred as Detective Chief Inspector Janine Lewis in which TV police procedural drama series set in Manchester. It also starred Ian Kelsey as Detective Inspector Richard Main. Ten seconds. Vera. It's not, it's not Vera, I'm afraid. Goes to Phil. Pass. David. Pass. And Jenny. Pass. Now that is Blue Murder. Oh, God, long forgotten that. Blue Blue Murder. Murder. <laughs> uh, Bob, your second one. She's had to peel me off the pavement, trying to insinuate, sometimes I am in danger of going too far. Are the opening two lines of which 2008 song by the Cortinas? Um, not 19 forever. Great song. Yeah, it's correct. Nice. And your third question, Bob. In which, U sorry, start again. Which US TV series, 1977 to 1983, was a drama series focusing on the lives of two motorcycle police officers of the California Highway Patrol? The two main characters were played by Eric Estrada and Larry Wilcox. Chips. Chips is correct. He's back. Oh, long way to go. There long we way. go. Bill, we'll move on to you. Which actor appeared alongside Robert De Niro in the 1991 remake of Cape Fear, playing the role of Lieutenant Elkhart? In the 1962 film, this actor played Max Cady, the role taken on by De Niro in the 1991 version. What year was the original, did you say? The original was 1962. Oh, Ten seconds. Need an answer, please. Vaughan. It's not Vaughan, I'm afraid. Goes to Bob. Peck. It's not Peck, I'm afraid. David. Mitchum. Robert Mitchum is correct. Uh, your second question, Phil. At the 1998 Brit Awards, a member of which band tipped a bucket of ice water over John Prescott and his wife? In an early performance on the night, they sang, New Labour sold out the Dockers, just like they sold out the rest of us. Number one, Bar. Is correct. And your third one. Which arcade game released in 1978 was so popular in its native Japan that it caused a national coin shortage. In this game, the alien enemies descend quicker as you kill more of them, an unintentional glitch left in the game as it fitted. Space Invaders? That's correct. David, your, your three. Daisy and Perfect are popular fragrances developed by which American fashion designer? Mm. Carbon Clan. It's not Carbon Clan, I'm afraid. Goes to Bob. Us. Phil. Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs is correct. Nice one. Um, David, your second one. The actress Rita Wilson is married to which iconic American actor? In 2020, the couple became some of the first celebrities to suffer from coronavirus. Tom Hanks. Is correct. And your third one. The Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher during Harry's first year, the Philosopher's Stone, which Hogwarts teacher wears a purple turban, which he claims to have received from an African prince. He's known for his nervous, stammering demeanour. Hmm. 
Uh, pass. No problem. Goes to Bob. Quirrell. Professor Quirrell is correct. End of round number three. Uh, Jenny in the lead with ten. Phil with nine. David with eight. Bob with six. Uh, Bones attempts. We're back to square one. It is three all. Jenny, back to you for round four. Joanna Scanlon starred as Detective Inspector Viv Deering in which TV police procedural drama series set in Manchester. The show also starred Elaine Cassidy as DS Dinah Kowalska. No offence. Yes, correct. Okay. Um, good. Second question. Yeah, made by the same guy. It's shameless, wasn't it? So yeah, really, Paul Abbott, yeah. yeah. Uh, second question. Of the 10 magazines with the highest circulation in the UK, five of them are published by what kind of everyday business? One of the highest selling of these is titled Good Living. Do you say that again? I'll... Yeah. Huh? Of the 10 magazines with the highest circulation in the UK, five of them are published by what kind of everyday business? One of the highest selling of these is titled Good Living. Supermarket? It's correct. What other everyday businesses are there? <laughs> and your third one? None at the moment. Talk about out of date questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and your third one, um, Jenny. The actress Blake Lively is married to which Canadian born actor? He was previously married to Scarlett Johansson. Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds is correct. Another th- uh, Ryan Reynolds from Wrexham, yeah. Another three out of three for you there. Yes. Um, Bob. Appointed as Hogwarts' new Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher in the Chamber of Secrets, which popular author and wizarding celebrity is exposed as a charlatan after being unable to perform even the simplest magic tricks. He's been described as Rowling, by Rowling as the only character she ever based on a real-life person. Ten seconds. Oh, I'm not going to get a pass. No problem. Goes to Phil. Lockhart. Gilderoy Lockhart is correct. Uh, Bob, your second question. Which Spaniard, nicknamed Big Mig, won the Tour de France five times between 1991 and 1995? Indurain. Miguel Indurain is correct. And your third question. Which arcade game released in 1981 tasks the player with helping their character first cross a five-lane highway and then traverse a river on the backs of turtles and logs, all without getting squashed? Frogger. Is correct. Glad they've put the hard video games in for this match. Yeah, Much I appreciate know, so, it. Yeah. I don't Damn think. It. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Let's wait for some modern uh, ones. Thank you very you much. Go. Sorry, Phil. Moving on to you. Uh, question uh, number one for you, Phil. Which Hertfordshire boxer, a former world middleweight title holder, became the WBO super middleweight champion in May two thousand and nineteen? He has so far retained this title twice, most recently by beating Martin Murray in December 2020. Okay, could you read it again, please, Dave? Yep. Which Hertfordshire boxer, a former world middleweight title holder, became WBO World Super Middleweight Champion in May 2019? He so far retained this title twice, most recently by defeating Martin Murray in December 2020. And that's 10 seconds, please, sir. Smith? It's not Smith, I'm afraid. Goes to David. Pass. Jenny? Pass. And Bob? Saunders? Billy Joe Saunders. Hi. Right. 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 I was, I was going to say that and I thought, oh, he must be Irish. Can't be from Hertfordshire. <laughs> but... I don't know, it's from Hertfordshire. Yeah. But, uh... Uh, second one for you, Phil. 
which US TV show 1982 to 1989 was a sitcom that reflected the move in the USA from the cultural liberalism of the 1960s to the conservatism of the 1980s. It starred Michael J. Fox as a young Republican, Alex Keaton, and Michael Gross and Meredith Thaxter as his ex-hippie parents. Could you read that again? Sorry. Yeah. Which US TV show, 1982 to 1989, was a sitcom that reflected the move in the USA from cultural liberalism of the 1960s to the conservatism of the 1990s. It starred Michael J. Fox as young Republican Alex Keaton and Michael Gross and Meredith Baxter as his ex-hippie parents. Okay. Uh, that is Spin City. Seconds. It's not Spin City, I'm afraid. David? Art. Jenny? Family Ties? Family Ties is correct. <laughs> Oscar Bell said tonight. And Phil, your third question. Johanna drove slowly into the city, the Hudson River all filled with snow, at the opening two lines of which 2008 hit by Vampire Weekend. Did you re read the lyrics again, please? Yep. Johanna drove slowly into the city, the Hudson River all filled with snow. A 2008 hit by Vampire Weekend. Um, yeah, I'm not going to name this, am I? Uh, a punk. Oh. Exactly the right answer. <laughs> well played. Okay. Very good. David, you're three. Which band had a UK top three single in 1990 with a cover of the Beatles song Strawberry Fields Forever? Got any candy flip? <laughs> Got any candy flip? It's correct. Second question. Which actress co-starred with Robert De Niro in another Martin Scorsese collaboration, playing the role of Ginger McKenna in Casino? Although not her debut, this actress rose to fame playing Laurie Quaid, the wife of Arnold Schwarzenegger's character in Total Recall. Read it again. Yeah. Which actress co-starred with Robert De Niro in another Martin, Martin Scorsese collaboration, playing the role of Ginger McKenna in Casino? Although not her debut, this actress rose to fame playing Laurie Quaid, the wife of Arnold Schwarzenegger's character in Total Recall. Seen that before as well. Not the is. Mira Sorvino. It's not Mira Sorvino, I'm afraid. Goes to Jenny. Stone. Sharon Stone is correct. <sighs> Very poor, yeah. Not and not David, your third question. Coming fourth on the US Glamour Magazine's Disney Prince Hotness ranking is Flynn Rider, also known as Eugene Fitzherbert, who's the protagonist of which 2010 Disney animated film? I can visualise it, but I can't remember the name of it. Pass. Not my set tonight. No. Goes to Bob. Pass. Phil. Pass. Jenny. Tangled. Tangled is correct. Well done. That is a great film. Nice one. I've not seen it. End of round number four. Uh, Jenny with 16 in the lead now. Uh, Phil with 11. David and Bob both on nine. Uh, bonus attempts. Jenny on six. Bob and Phil both on four. David on three. Uh, final round. The time for keeping your powder dry is over. <laughs> um, Never was. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> um, Jenny, back to you. Which song was being performed by Michael Jackson at the 1996 Brit Awards when Jarvis Cocker invaded the stage and wiggled his bum at the audience? Earth song. Is correct. Next question. Which duo had a UK top 10 hit in 1979 with a cover of the Beatles song, I Wanna Hold Your Hand? What was the year again, sorry? 1979. Um. Wow. Ten seconds. Um, I can Tina Turner. It's not, I'm afraid. Goes to David. Sparks. It's not Sparks, I'm afraid. Is it Bob? not? Oh, Bob. Yeah, dollar. 
dollar is correct. Sparks did cover it, I think, didn't they? But oh, well. yeah, they didn't I'll have an answer chart, that. But, yeah, didn't chart. Yeah. Twice as good as 50 cents, it's dollar. Um, <laughs> Jenny, your third question. Which arcade game released in 1979 sees the player controlling a triangular ship in the centre of the screen? The aim is to shoot the titular objects to prevent your ship being smashed to pieces. Asteroids. It is correct. Bob, on to you. The model Chrissy Teigen is married to which singer? He wrote the 2013 song All of Me in her honour. John Legend. John Legend is correct. <laughs> uh, second one for you, Bob. Bamboo and Bloom are popular fragrances developed by which Italian fashion house? Um... Armani. It's not Armani, I'm afraid. Goes to Phil. I pass. David. Prada. Not Prada, I'm afraid. Jenny. Pass. Pass. Uh, that is Gucci. <sighs> Would have been my guess, but I've never actually heard of those two. I'd heard of the other perfumes. Yeah. yeah. Um, your third one, Bob. Which YouTuber is best known for his Let's Play videos and comedic format shows? His channel is currently the second most subscribed channel on YouTube. PewDiePie? PewDiePie is correct. <sighs> Phil, your questions. Geraldine Somerville played DS Jane Penhaligon, alongside Christopher Eccleston as DCI David Bilbra, in which TV police procedural drama series set in Manchester? Yeah. Say again, Andre? Cracker. Cracker is correct. Second question. Having the eighth highest circulation of any magazine in the UK, which entertainment-based magazine sees a surge in purchases for their Christmas double issue? Radio Times. That is correct. And Phil, your third question. Coming second on the US Glamour magazine's Disney Prince Hotness ranking is Prince Eric of Atlantica, the protagonist of which 1989 Disney animated film? Eric of Atlantica. Hmm. <laughs> Little Mermaid is correct. <laughs> Very good. Did you see that? Yeah. Uh, Phil Small, 15 seconds of, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I know. Mermaid, the, it's uh, not the first time he's pulled What's he playing? <laughs> What's he playing? At? What's he playing I'm, all, at? I'm all over that list in my spare time, I tell you. <laughs> and David, your last three. You know that I would love to see you next year. I hope that I am still alive next year. Are the opening two lines of which 2005 hit by Maximo Park? Apply some pressure. That's correct. Very much an anthem of 2020, that I think, isn't it? Mm, so. With those lyrics. Um, David, second question. Which Frenchman, nicknamed the Badger, won the Tour de France five times between 1978 and 1985? Bernard Hinault. Bernard Hinault is correct. And your third and final question, David. Currently the WBA interim middleweight champion. Which British boxer held the IBO World Super Middleweight title twice between 2017 and 2019? His two career defeats have come against Billy Joe Saunders and George Groves. Awesome. No problem. It goes to Phil. I'm going to try Smith again. It's not, I'm afraid. Uh, Bob. Eubank. Chris Eubank. Chris Jr. Eubank. Nice. Is nice correct. Very good. Woo! Here endeth the game. Oh, uh, I was not expecting okay. that result. Congratulations. Well, no, I've, I've, uh, very good. 18 very to Jenny, good, well, 14 to Phil, uh, 13 to Bob, and 11 to uh, David. Um, Fantastic game, as always. Uh, only four X's, I noticed. Uh, unfortunately, all in your seat. But yeah, you've been unlucky there, Bob. Yeah. Uh, See, they're mine, were they? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I've noticed that. So, let me just stop the share. Or oh, I gave some awful answers anyway. I didn't deserve any more than this. <laughs> I'm going to stop recording. Thanks, everyone, for playing. And we'll have a chat shortly after. <laughs>